Hello, people. I gotta think of a better intro. Or a better catchphrase than that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, this video uh, is about uh, a major issue or factor of autism that uh, I actually haven't mentioned in all my vlogs, which uh, it's a little surprising that I overlooked this, uh, but uh, it's about uh, sensory overload, <coughs> uh, wherein uh, an uh, autistic person uh, will see something or hear something and and uh, their uh, brain just can't handle it. Uh, their senses, sight, hearing, and and maybe even touch, uh, it it just causes great di distress with them. I get or other feelings, uh, and it's kind of, kind of like an attack, I guess, uh, if, if, do you know what a panic attack feels like, uh, then th it might, might be the closest thing to describing this, but, uh, for me, uh, it's, it's uh, strobe lights, uh, those bright lights that br blink, and the the faster they blink, uh, the worse it is for me. Like even even uh, on television or uh, when I'm watching a movie. Uh, if there's strobe lights, uh, uh, I can't watch. I, I have to uh, turn my head away from the screen and and maybe cover my eyes so I, I can't look at them because it, it just really uh, uh, messes with me and and does not make me feel good. And uh, another would be a uh, bass noise for me. Like uh, if there's a, a car driving past me and they have their music turned up really loud and the song has you know, that bass noise, that uh, dumping noise, that I also can't handle. Uh, I'll, I'll just have to get, get away from it. I, uh, I, I can't take it for, for very long. And, uh, the, that's what, uh, an autistic person has to do when they're, uh, being overloaded, I guess, what, what you call it. Uh, they have to get away and uh, go to a, a quiet spot and uh, be alone for however long it takes and and uh, actually for me it's happened recently for, for strobe lights and bass noise those are the the biggest things that affect me but there's other noises too like, uh, 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 this house, uh, it's not too far from a, a railroad, a railroad station. It, it doesn't get used very often, I don't think. And it, it's mainly used for, uh, freight trains and just, uh, delivering supplies. 
no passenger trains. But th this week, or the past couple of days, uh, I you can hear a, a train whistle, and or I guess it's more like a train horn, but it it just just sounds for like 10, 15 seconds or more, and then we'll stop for five seconds, and then then just be right back at it going for a while, and and does this for you know uh uh and and it does this for I don't know it seems like five minutes just going on and off uh the the train horn and and uh, i i was outside w with my dog and i heard it and at first i it wasn't too bad i i could deal with it but then it just wouldn't stop so i i just had to uh come inside and and close the doors and the windows, which helped, but I could still hear it faintly, but it just really drove me crazy, and, and I don't know why they did it, or why they would do it, I don't know, is there traffic on the tracks or something? And another one, we just had our carpets cleaned in our bedrooms. And when the guy was doing it, uh, he, uh, he uh, didn't turn off the, the, uh, uh, hose, I guess, the, the stick that goes on it. Whatever you call it, the, uh, what whatever it is that you put down on the the carpet to to clean it, I he didn't turn that off. So when he was going from bedroom to bedroom, whatever you call it, the hose, the plastic thing, it made this really loud, uh, really loud whistling noise. It is high pitched, so uh so like I had to uh go into another room and close the door uh and and uh, cover my ears uh, uh but fortunately I mean fortunately it was only when he was going from room to room, so it, it didn't last long. But it was, it was, it was really loud for just a, a vacuum hose, whatever you call it. And then I just ended up putting on headphones uh, for the, the rest of the time he was here. And then that that helped a little bit, but they weren't uh, completely soundproof. But uh, again, it's different for every person with autism. They have different sensory issues, uh, and no two. Uh, are the same. I know I've said that before in, in other videos. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just heard this mentioned and realized I hadn't talked about it uh, on one of these videos. So I'll have to go 
see if there's anything else that's uh, major with autism that I, I haven't discussed yet. Uh, there, uh, there is something else like uh, with vaccines and autism. Uh, I've been reading this book called Deadly Choices, how the anti-vaccination movement is uh, threatening us all. I've been re reading that book right now. So it, it's really good. and I, I want to do a whole video about vaccines and autism. I have a playlist I, I put together on YouTube. I'll, I'll put a link to that somewhere around here. But uh, I, I want to talk about that. Because... Because it, it, yeah, I, I, do, I, I have a lot to say about that. So. But, but uh, as for, for this video, I, I think that's all for now. Uh, uh, so uh, until next video, see ya. Because it's kind of hard to invite people over. When you live at your parents and you're almost 25 years old. Almost a quarter of a century old. Oh, wait. There. There he goes. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Come on. There you go. There you go. Whoa. 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 Oh. Oh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> the chair kind of turned on you. Whoa. <laughs> oh, poor buddy. <laughs> uh, there, you want you want to try it again? <laughs> uh oh. I guess not. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, I'll, I'll sit down in here. Okay. <laughs>